Pukena took South Africa, home of the spirit courts. Um, reason for my selection here is just this exquisite point of display from this angle. Um, this is some of the older material, um, which was pretty much sitting flat on a matrix, whereas the more recent material, you'd, you'd have it mainly projecting off a matrix. Central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones, as you see here, the central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller one. Color is determined by what happens on the edges, inside edges of the crystal. So here, predominantly amethyst, a nice rich dark amethyst. Uh, another crystal graying, uh, uh, is that joined? It seems that those two are joined at the hip over there. Going, uh, of course, the typical tar starburst when we look at the, uh, when we look from the top down, look into that crystal, you have the starburst formation. From a display point of view, it can be displayed flat on a turntable going around like this. I quite enjoy this where you have the various aspects. So we, we turn it around like this. Go around. There we have the, the two crystals going across like that. There you see what usually happens in the core of the specimen, the original crystal with the small crystal surrounding it. All the way from South Africa, uh, spirit quartz from Bukana took uh, Pumalanga province, South Africa, formerly known as the Eastern Transvaal. Now there seems to be some yellowishness there which would be some hematite come girthite trapped inside uh, the quartz.